pitfalls to avoid for waiting mothers. If you don't conceive when you plan to have a baby, it can be very frustrating and emotionally disturbing. When month after month goes by without the much-wanted pregnancy happening, it is easy to become frustrated and it is well known that delayed conception can cause emotional distress and may lead to relationship problems. In this video, we are discussing the common mistakes that can sooner or later lead to infertility. Number 1. Delay in treating infections like pelvic inflammatory disease PID. PID is an infection of the female reproductive system, causing scarring of the uterus, ovaries, fallopian tubes, cervix, and vagina. About 100,000 women start infertility treatments in the U.S. every year as a result of PID. Prompt PID treatment, usually with antibiotics, helps avoid complications such as infertility. Your partner should get tested and treated, too. About 12% of women suffer enough tubal damage from one episode of PID to become infertile. After three episodes of PID, the infertility rate reaches 50%. Number 2. Avoiding medical assistance. Many causes of infertility are silent and worsen with time. The sooner you get help, the more likely fertility treatments will work for you. Some couples delay testing because they feel and seem to be in perfect health. But many people who have infertility issues do not have outward signs or symptoms of a fertility problem. You may have a textbook 28-day menstrual cycle, but that doesn't mean you're guaranteed fast and smooth results when trying to get pregnant, and it doesn't mean you may not have a fertility problem. The third pitfall to avoid is not knowing your menstrual and ovulation cycle. The menstrual cycle is the time from the first day of your period up to the day before the start of your next period. Ovulation usually 12 to 14 days before the next menstrual period. 4. Prolonged excessive stress and sleep deprivation. Living with extreme or chronic stress, experiencing trauma, or having insomnia and other sleep issues may reduce fertility. 5. Not timing sex. The highest pregnancy rates occur in couples who have sex regularly during the fertile period which is around the ovulation time. Number six is bad personal hygiene practices. It is crucial to practice good genital hygiene. However, if you don't maintain proper hygiene in your private part, it might result in problems including bacterial and fungal infections. These infections, if not treated, can lead to reproductive problems like infertility and urinary tract infections. Only wear cotton underwear, which is breathable for your skin and easily absorbs sweat. Avoid douching. Douching can trigger bacterial growth and alter the pH balance of the vagina thus making it difficult for sperm to survive in the woman. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we release the next video on fertility. The seventh pitfall is neglecting your husband's health. Infertility is 40% male-related and 40% female-related, 20% both. Making a mature healthy sperm that can travel depends on many factors. Problems can stop cells from growing into sperm. Problems can prevent the sperm from reaching the egg. Even the temperature of the scrotum can affect fertility. Number 8. Medications. Certain medications and drugs that can affect female infertility include chemotherapy, radiation therapy, antipsychotic drugs, and so on. Talk to your doctor about your fertility problem before using any drug that can affect your fertility. The next is neglecting an underlying medical condition. A variety of medical conditions can affect the female reproductive system and cause infertility in women. For example, hepathyroidism, polycystic ovarian syndrome, hyperthyroidism, hyperprolactinemia. Number 10. Weight issues. Weight issues can be overweight or underweight. Being significantly overweight or underweight is also known to disrupt fertility. Exercising excessively or not at all can also cause problems getting pregnant. Following a program to reach a healthier weight and physical activity level often increases rates of conception. Number 11. In activity, walking is always a safe way to get your exercise. It's excellent for your cardiovascular system, builds endurance, is low impact, and a great stress buster. Dancing helps you bust a move and improve blood flow. Dancing also offers a decent calorie burn. Always listen to your body and stay hydrated. You never want to put yourself at risk for a fall or injury, and remember you could become pregnant at any time, so go easy if you aren't into regular exercise. Number 12. Hard drugs, marijuana, whether taken recreationally or for medicinal purposes, may also impair fertility. Illicit drug use, such as cocaine, ketamine, and amphetamines, can contribute to fertility issues. The 13th pitfall to avoid is smoking. If you smoke, it is likely to take you longer to get pregnant than a non-smoker. Most couples who have regular, unprotected sex will get pregnant within a year. But for smokers, the chance of getting pregnant are cut by almost half each month. Quitting smoking improves the lining of the womb. If you give up smoking now, your chances of getting pregnant faster will increase. Smoking can cause fertility problems in men. It can reduce the quality of semen, can cause the semen to have a lower sperm count and can also affect the sperm's normal swimming patterns. To make things worse, smoking can cause male sexual impotence, meaning the ability to get or maintain an erection will be destroyed. The last pitfall to avoid is alcohol consumption. 
According to a new study of drinking patterns and hormone levels at different monthly stages, moderate intake of alcohol three to six drinks a week and heavy intake more than six per week during the post-ovulation phase of a woman's cycle can disturb the delicate hormonal sequence needed to conceive. The researchers also found that heavy drinking earlier in a woman's cycle during ovulation could also disrupt conception. Please note that knowledge is advancing by the day and we will like to always post an update about this. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel to know when we post a new video on how to stay healthy. You are watching Zoom Hospital channel and listening to work of Dr. Criordi. Thanks for watching.